Hey, Shalom Israel. I'm Captain Tazawan, Wan, and to my left, I'm C. Elijah. And we're back again with another 15 minutes with the captains. Hey, today's topic, we're going to talk about interracial marriages. Are you supposed to be marrying outside of your race? If you are a black, Hispanic, and native Indian, the Israelite, man, woman, and child, are we supposed to be marrying outside of our nation? Let's see what the Bible says. Give me the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and read verse 3. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 3. Right. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Hold on real quick. It says, neither shall you make marriages with them. Who is the them? Read verse 7. Come on. Verse 1. Verse 1. Right, right. When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it, uh -huh. and have cast out many nations so before when we, thee. When we traveled through the wilderness and we were going to our lands, right? We were going to the land of Canaan, right? There were many other nations that was there. The Lord said, when you get there... You shall not do something. Read, come on. Cast out many nations before thee. Uh huh. The Hittites. The what? The Hittites. Read, come on. And the Girgashites. Read. And the Amorites. Uh huh. And the Canaanites. Read. And the Parasites. Read on. And the Hivites. And the Jebusites. Seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Jump to verse 3. Verse 3. Uh huh. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. The Bible said when you go into the land, you're supposed to move them out of it. You're supposed to destroy them out of the land. And neither shall you take their women. And make marriages with them. All right. Let's see. Was it just these Hamites? Because that's who all these are. Go. Give me the real quick. Give me First Ezra, <clears throat> chapter eight, and let me read verse uh, sixty-seven real quick. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. First Ezra, chapter eight, verse sixty-nine. Right. Read. The nation of Israel, the princes, the priests, and Levites mm -hmm. have not put away from them. The strange people of the land. So we didn't apply the law, the, what we read in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1, and verse 3. All right? So you, because they, they, they'll try to isolate just uh, chapter 7, verse 3. No, no, no. Uh-uh. That's not, where do you learn that at? No. That's not what the Bible says. We made sin and married the other nations, the strange people. Read that part again. Come on. The nation of Israel, the uh -huh. princes and the priests. And Levites have not put away from them the strange people of the land. We didn't put the strange people from the land. The priests didn't. The Levites. Read on. Come on. Nor the pollutions of the Gentiles. Nor the pollutions of these Gentiles. Showing you that these brothers and sisters, they knew who they were. They know that they were Israel. Read on. To wit of the Canaanites. The Canaanites. The H Hamites. Read on. Hittites. Another Hamites. Pharisites. More Hamites. Jebusites. More Hamites. And the Moabites. The Moabites. Okay. Come on. Egyptians, Hamites, read on, and Edomites, and the what? Edomites. It's summing up in a nutshell, all other nations, read on. What didn't they separate themselves of the strange people from? Read on, what did they do? Read on. For both they and their sons have married with their daughters, and they and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the, the land. The holy seed of the children of Israel is mixed with the people of the land, read on. And from the beginning of this matter... The rulers and the great men have been partakers of this iniquity. The rulers of the people have partake have been partakers of this sin. It's a sin. The iniquity is the sin of you having what you call today interracial marriages. Interracial marriages. Now, it says something specific. It said, and the holy seed is mixed with the strange people of the land. Hmm. Go back to that real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and read verse 6. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people. You are holy people, Israel. So don't mingle amongst the strange people of the land. Read that verse again. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Right. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Okay. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So this is why it was considered to be iniquity that the holy seed be mixed amongst what? All the, all the nations, all right? What were some of those nations? Majority of those nations were what? The Hamite people. Some of those were the Moabites. Some of them were the Egyptians. Some of them were the Etomites, all right? Who are the so-called Caucasians today. You are not supposed to marry outside of your race. Thus saith the Bible. Let's get more examples of that. Because maybe we're just making it up. Because it just sounds good. Let's get it real quick. Nehemiah chapter 13. Nehemiah chapter 13 and read verse 23. 
Nehemiah 13, 23. Nehemiah chapter 13, verse 23. Uh-huh. In those days also saw I Jews that had married wives. Hold on. It says, these were Jews, the holy people, that was close to God, that God separated to be above all people like we read in Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. The Jews, what did they do? Hmm. That had married wives of Ashdod. Of what? Ashdod. Read on. Of Ammon. Okay. And of Moab. Listen, they married wives outside of their race. It's not It's not written like this just because it, it's good information or it just sounds good. It's just words on a book. Right. This was a sin that the Jews were committing. Read on, come on. And their children. And their what? Their children. Read, come on. Spake half in the speech of Ashdod. See, that's what happens. When you marry outside of your race, they don't relate or have the same problems as so-called black man, Hispanic woman, and child. You understand? Native Indian Mar um, and, and Native American child, all right? They don't have the same issues. And then you end up integrating into that other race. Now, the world will call this racism. That's what the Bible says. It was an example written that what? We shall not marry outside of the race of Israel. The Bible speaks about race. The truth is, is that you don't know that. You haven't read that and you don't accept it. Read that verse again. Come on. And their children spake half in the speech of Ashdod right. and could not speak in the Jews' language. Uh -huh. But according to the language of each people. Right. Read on. What, what each people? The language of each people was of the language of the other nations at this time. What were those nations? Ashdod. What were the Moabite? Ammon. They spoke that the Jews spoke, their children spoke the languages of those nations. Read on, come on. And I contended with them. And he did what? Contended with them. Read on, come on. And cursed them. Okay. And smote certain of them. Now, we're not advocating no violence whatsoever as far as what Nehemiah did. But this is what he did at this time because what? They committed this sin, all right? And they justified and defended the sin of what? Sleeping and marrying outside of their race. Read on, come on. And plucked off their hair. Read on. And made them swear by God, mm -hmm. saying, Ye should not give your daughters unto their sons, nor take their daughters unto your sons, right. or for yourselves. Did not Solomon. Hold on, who? Did not Solomon, king of Israel, sin by these things? Listen. Nehemiah is giving an example to the Jews at this time that when they when when King Solomon married outside of his race, outside of his nation, he did what did not what sin by these things. He sinned. Solomon sinned when he married and had 700 concubines and, uh, uh, and uh, 300 wives. He had a thousand wives and they were all of other nations. All right. Solomon sinned by these things. Read on, come on. Yet among many nations was there no king like him. And, but there was no great king like him. But even the king, he sinned in these things. Real quick, let's go back real quick. Give me the book of Tobit chapter 4. So now, let's get the more examples of how we were supposed to marry within our nation. All right? And then later on, we're going to get the purpose of that. Why do you marry within your nation, within your race? Read that verse real quick. Tobit, Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. Read that. Tobit chapter 4, verse 12. Uh -huh. Beware of all whoredom, my son. Hold on. Wait a minute. This is a father speaking to his son and telling him, listen, son, beware of all whoredom. Read on. Beware of all whoredom, my son. So what's the whoredom? Read. Come on. And chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy father. Listen, he said, beware of all whoredom and mainly, son, that's what the word chiefly means, mainly prior prioritize yourself priority read on it says chiefly what take a wife of the seed of thy fathers take a wife of the seed of your fathers meaning the wife a, a woman take a wife of the nation of your people read on come on and take not a strange woman to wife a strange woman will be a woman outside of tobit's race all right his father and Tobias's race. All right, the son. Read on. Come on. Which is not of thy father's tribe. Which is not of thy father's tribe. His race of people, because there's twelve tribes in the nation of Israel. You're supposed to choose between the tribes of our nation. You got Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, Gad, Nathali, and so on. All right, those are the tribes in which you get the wives of your nation, or you sisters, the husbands of your nation. Read on. Come on. For we. Are the children of the prophets, Read. Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning 
even that they all married wives of their own kindred. All of our forefathers and foremothers married within their race. So why now in whatever situa modern time we live in, it's taught to us to sleep or be around or marry whoever we want to. Why? Because this world is laden with sin. And they don't want you to hear God's truth. All right? That you're supposed to be marrying within your own nation. Read on real quick. And we're blessed in their children. And when you do that, you're blessed within your own nation. Because why? Now your nation becomes strong. All right? Listen. A man and a woman that marries outside of their race, they show forth whoredom, like the scripture said just now, and hatred towards their people. What you're saying is your sisters are not good enough for you, so you have to go to another race. What you sisters are saying is the man that's created within your nation is not good enough for you, so you have to go outside of your race, all right? So with that, let's get real quick. Give me the book of Ezra, Ezra chapter 10, and let me read verse 10. Ezra's 10 and 10. Look at Ezra, chapter 10, verse 10. Right. And Ezra, the priest, stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed and have taken strange wives. Hold on. The transgression was that they took strange wives. Hmm. It's not a strange life. It's not saying strange wife as if she's a strange person. <laughs> The strange wife is a woman outside of the Jews' nationality. Read on, come on. To increase the trespass of Israel. The trespass or the sin of Israel was increased when they married strange wives. Read on, come on. Now, therefore, make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers and do his pleasure uh -huh. and separate yourselves from the people of the land. It was commanded. That the people at this time of Israel at this time separate themselves from what? The strange wives. The strange women. Why? Because it said above. Confess what? The sin. They committed a sin of interracial marriages. The Lord commanded in uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 1 on down that the holy seed, the holy people must marry within their own nationality. Read on. Come on. And from the strange wives. Uh-huh. Then all the congregation answered and said with a loud voice as thou hast said so must we do listen when the lord told, commanded the prophets to speak to the people according to thus saith the lord in the word this in this case concerning repenting from marrying outside of their race they listened they kept the commandments and they repented they confessed their sins all right from that real quick let me get the book of uh sirach chapter 26 Sirach 26 and verse 20. So, in these situations and cases, you brothers and sisters that are learning, you have to know and understand and realize that a part of your repentance is getting these things in order. All right? It's getting these things in order and realizing that we ought not to marry outside of our nationality. And that, it, that is, in fact, an act of trespass, according to the Bible, an act of uh, uh, iniquity and it's sin. Thus saith the Lord. Read that verse. Come on. Sirach chapter 26 verse 20. Right. When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession. So when a man and a woman are striving to marry each other, there are certain characteristics that you must uphold according to God in order to do that. Read on. Come on. When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession right. through all the field, sow it with thine own seed. The Bible literally is telling you when you go and plant or when you go and strive for a marriage, do it with, amongst your own seed. The seed of what? The seed of your own people. All right. Read on. Come on. Trusting in the goodness of thy stock. Because when you do that, you trust in the strength of your own nation. Read on. Come on. So thy race, which thou leavest. Hold on. Wait a minute. Did the Bible just say race? Read that verse again. So thy race. Thy what? Thy race. Hold on. <laughs> nah. There's no such thing as racism. The Bible is saying, listen, we're supposed to be within our own race. What you call racism is your hatred. The Bible says what? So thy race, which thou leavest, shall be magnified. The Bible says that we're supposed to stay within our own race and sow our seed amongst our own people. So that our race may be what? Magnified. That it may be magnified, glorified, and exalted, increased. Read on, come on. Having the confidence of their good descent. And you're supposed to trust in your own race of your own people. Thus saith the Lord. And with that, we're going to say shalom. <laughs>
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.